Welcome back, everybody. How are you? Well, I'm getting back to our uh, range belt build. It's our SOE um, two inch duty belt, our uh, Safari Land holster, our Nightcore flashlight, and I've been wearing this around just to see how I like it. And this orientation, this horizontal orientation so far, has been working out fairly well. Today, I got another piece of the puzzle. And that piece of the puzzle was G-Cold holsters. Um, I, got G I got these a couple days ago and I alluded to it back when I talked about the uh, belt and the <clears throat> holster and uh, the NHT flashlight holder. And I talked about these uh, G-Code, okay, Scorpion Soft Scorpion uh, holders. Okay, and a couple of things that um, I was on G Code's website, and it was kind of I didn't quite understand the attachment points, and uh, I ordered what I thought was the correct one, but the option for a two-inch duty belt is not a P3. So what I ordered mistakenly wasn't G Code. What I ordered, unmistakably, um, was a belt um, P3, and that is, that's these guys. Now, what's the, what was the issue that I had? Okay, these things are pretty awesome. Okay, they're called the, these are called P3s, I think they're called. They have many attachment points. And the one that I wanted was called the belt attachment, which is, I forgot which model number it is, but you have to go through. But when you go on the drop down, um, when you go through the drop down menu, the ones that I needed for my belt weren't in the drop down menu. Now maybe I should have um, called them before I ordered it, but what I received, these are called, these are called the P3. Okay, can you guys see that? These are called the P3, which is called the belt attachment. Now, <clears throat> the problem that I have is these are very sturdy. These are very sturdy, and they have a lock to them, okay? Can you see? You take this piece, you slide this up, and this locks in, okay? I'm not going to lock it, but what it allows you to do is very sturdily, okay, slit your belt through there, okay? Stick it on, bolt it to there. And lock it in just like that. Okay, it's locked in. It is it is very very sturdy. Um, the problem is, um, how do you get this off? Oh, okay. The problem that I have is this only fits an inch and three quarter inch belt. I have a two inch duty belt, so it doesn't fit. So. All through YouTube videos, I could not find anybody that tried to use a tech lock. So, what you'll notice on the back of these pretty awesome pistol carriers is I like the fact that it, it I, I like the aesthetics of it. I like the look of it. Uh, I looked at the tacos, and I didn't like the tacos too much. Uh, I don't like the full hard ones, but I do like these kind of soft shell, and they also, okay, now, i got to tighten them up, that's why, I'm trying to, this is a double stack Glock mag, now you would never shake the pouch like that, but if you do, tighten the clip up, but, so I like the way that these looked. I like the fact that I could order it in this tan skin and this greenish, whatever this plastic exoskeleton is. Now, the thing that I liked mainly about this is the back. Can you see the back? Okay. Those are Zerk nuts. Okay. They're molded into this plastic which gives you a wide variety of mounting points like this P3 belt attachment 
or you could probably run this through a molly strap. Uh, I'm not sure it looks a little too thick for a molly strap. I think the molly strap, the space in between here is much thinner. Um, but I'm sure I have something else that I can mat I could I could bolt onto this. But <clears throat> so far as this fitting on my duty belt, it didn't. So I called G code. Uh, left a message, uh, and I also called Blade Tech. Now, Blade Tech makes a thing called a tech lock. Okay, that's one of these. Now, I talked to the lady that was on the phone at Blade Tech. Very nice, working from home. As we know, we're all dealing with this corona crapola. So everybody's conducting business a little differently. So, if you guys don't know, this is the Blade Tech. I think it's called, I don't know which one it is. The model number, it is called a Tech Lock with Hardware Black 811-920-30337. So, it's a black Tech Lock made in USA with the hardware. Funny is, when you go to buy Coyote, it doesn't have the hardware. Maybe I could have called her up and said, hey, I would like one with hardware. They could probably have dealt with that. But this is a very nice piece of kit. And you'll notice on the back of here, see all the holes? Okay, a lot of people, knife makers, everybody uses these. These are widely used all over the place. But what the answer I couldn't get from uh, the definitive answer from Blade Tech, and I still haven't gotten a call back from uh, G-Code, and that's fine. I, I don't mind it. Uh, I understand things are different. Things are business is different. Uh, so I just took it. I just took it to, you know, my own thing. So you you push the two sides in, okay, and it opens up, okay, and you have all of these holes. Wow! See all those holes, and you have these two uh, posts that are here. Okay, these are these posts are removable. So we're swing a little forward, for, uh, forward, and you will notice this is a G-code pistol, single pistol. This is not the tall. This is just the standard, okay? But it fits a tech lock, okay? Nowhere on the internet could I find that somebody has made a video of putting a tech lock on a scorpion soft-sided scorpion pouch okay now the cool thing is um, this will fit up to a two and a quarter inch duty belt it fits nicely it has this little swivel lock thingy okay you lock that down okay but it fits the belt perfectly it does slide slightly there was a trick that I did with that uh, Nightcore NHT25 of putting um, um, liner down, and that's what I will do with these because this is this is very nice and slick. Probably if you sand it and grit it up a little bit, that you could do that. But you could put two screws in there, which I did, and it fits perfectly, and it's exactly what I want. It's the perfect attachment point to it. So what I want to do is zoom the camera in a little farther. We'll take another one of these apart. And we will install the screws. We will lock tight them in. Uh, the good thing that G-Code gave me, okay, was a generous tube of, okay, uh, 242 red thread locker. So that will go on to these screws. I'll pull these screws out and we'll put them on the rest of the pouches. I have four of these pouches total. And I have five tech locks. And I'm going to also put a tech lock on that um, Safari Land holster. So let's go. We'll move the camera in tighter and we'll show you how to install these. All right, so we're here. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a couple of things here. Let's get this lock tight out. Very cool. Um, I do like um, these products that I've gotten very much, even though that I did order the uh, incorrect thing, it's okay. It's no big deal. 
So we take this Loctite and break the tip off. How do we break the tip off? Like that. Okay, whoops. Okay, there's the thread locker. Okay. We'll put that there. We'll put that there. We'll open this tech lock up. Taking this thread locker, and I'm actually dabbing it inside the thread instead of on the uh, on the device. I just found out throughout the years putting thread locker on is a lot easier that way than on the on the uh, screw itself. I just screw it down. Okay, and take this out. Okay, put that in there thread lock on those threads. Good. This in there. Okay, dopes. Okay, let's take this from a... We'll take it to a 7. Okay, cool. Job done. Move to the next one. Now, the cool thing is that they give you they also give you rubber grommets okay they give you this rubber grommets and they also give you these tea nuts okay so these I think are called Chicago nuts I think that's what they're called I think so so once it's flat but the inside has um, threads on them so we're gonna put that in one of these I don't need all of the hardware but I do need the hardware This one, we get this hardware out of the way. Let's grab another G code. Oops. Grab the hardware that's in there. And they, one thing I am noticing is that from device to device on this blade tech is they're they're very similar. Some other devices you could look and they and the this spring loaded device from you know if you get multiples they tend to uh, time to change a little, but this this hasn't. Um, and I think you can also run these using Molly. You run the you run the Molly webbing up through there. Let me take a look. See if I'm correct about that. I'll set this Molly in it. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be difficult to do. But yeah, that's Molly. You can run Molly through it. Okay, you can run Molly through it as well. So this just happens to be a uh, an SOE uh, um, rechargeable belt wallet. But yeah, you can run. Wow. And then the cool thing is because these bars here, you just lock in a bar, and it's it's solid. And it's solid to get on as well as it is to get off. So. So you can run your molly through it as well. All right, let's get this last one on. Let me come for you.
off in my bed locker. And the dungeon downstairs, but I'm gonna go. I'm just nice and So those, those will work very fine. Let's um, let's uh, let's put them on the belt and see what we get. Okay. So what we have here are these uh, Blade Tech um, um, uh, Tech Locks. do is we're going to pop out these bars easy peasy pudding pie okay and I think probably it will go on that last that last one all right is there something I don't know here that goes in like this leaf there it goes and it snaps in nice okay so what we're going to do is we're going to take this pistol mag lay that in there leave the lock out snap it in bob's your uncle all done all right so we'll notice that we have that on here and this slides unacceptable right okay so what we're going to do is pull the lock down okay unlock it okay and then we're going to take the shelf material okay you can find this anywhere you want um, I find it at um, uh, Walmart so we're going to take this because we have several of these we are going to take this shelf material and it looks like that seam right there so we'll just cut this shelf liner right there All right, now take this, and we're going to just cut right up this seam. We have a whole strip of this stuff, okay? And then what I want to do is just make this to where it goes around the belt. Okay, no harm, no foul. And that goes right there. Okay. Just got a bunch of these. Now, the reason why I don't want this to slip, even that there's a Velcro underbelt on there, I just want there to be it to be solid each and every single time. And these manufacturers obviously can't. You know, will that fit? That'll be a little short, but that'll that'll be okay. All right, so let's take this, wrap this around this. Uh, final position is when I figure it out. Alright, so let's make sure the top of the pouch is right there. All. This belt clip comes on and through and down like there. All. Helps if you put it on correctly. But let's do it this way. I think I like that way better. Again, this is all brand new trial and error type of thing. Looks like this shelf liner trick will do. There we go. That's what I want. Okay. 
rock solid. That's what I want. But guess what I did? I put it on backwards. needs to go like this that slides into there like this that goes in like that that snaps in and then the tech lock locks Bob's your uncle all right the other one's on. And there we go. There's three mags that will not move. Will not move. Um, and put pistola mags in them. And away we go. Not so bad. have to mess with the adjustment but that's how they go on there so not too bad not too shabby well not too shabby well you got the scorpion soft scorpion shell and the blade tech tech lock that's on there that fits on our two inch duty belt and you'll have to get some of that, that uh, shelf liner uh, that you can find at Walmart. It's, uh, you know, it's just in the, uh, I guess, the kitchen's aisle. It has a little stickiness to it, and it's, and it's spongy. That's why it allows it not to move back and forth. But it's on there nice and solid. I hope you guys enjoyed this little in-depth thing of the G-Code Pistol Scorpion. And I'm sure that the rifle mags will fit this tech lock as well and that's what I didn't have before was this information is whether this tech lock and this uh, this blade tech device and this G code device will fit together on my SOE belt it does very nicely so we're going to carry on with the next build and we're going to uh, work on the um, Safari Land holster so that will be the next installment thanks for joining me we'll talk to you guys later bye bye stay healthy out there